Ace to Insight has uh, been in business now for 21 years. Uh, our roots were in the home building industry is kind of where we started back in 97. Back in uh, 07, uh, the Great Recession that hit and we were 100% weighted in the home building industry at that time. I believe there was actually one day where we got down to zero internal employees and about seven or eight uh, customer experience agents. You know, as we were kind of coming out of that recession and only had a small handful of people and then started to grow again, um, we did realize uh, how important it was to have that mission, vision, and core values. Um, and I think it's critically important, you know, so many companies have them, but they just in many cases become words on a piece of paper and they're back in a drawer somewhere or on a plaque. And we endeavored really not to ever fit into that category. So one of the things that we've realized is, of course, you know, we don't want to go back to where things were before. We understand that we're not in complete control of that. But, you know, what things can we do to really mitigate that? And I think C12's five-point matrix has been uh, a key tool that we've used to help us really stay on track uh, and even really structure our, our goals, our thoughts, um, our ideas. Um, of course, operational management, organizational development, financial management, revenue generation, and ministry are those five cornerstones of the C12 matrix. So yes, we have great people. We absolutely have a great culture and we have a dedicated team that is invested in continuing that and that's great. But the most important thing is being known for, you know, your honesty and your integrity and the heart and the hard work of the organization. And that's what our, you know, clients see, that's what other peers see, um, that's what we're known for. You know, it's 21 years in the making and it's been very important to our CEO to always lead with his heart and make sure that, you know, he's always being transparent and being open and honest in everything he does and that shows. I share with every new hire orientation class that we are a faith-based business with biblical principles and um, we're certainly not perfect. And being a faith-based company doesn't make us better by measure than any other company. And I'm very clear to share that. But I do think it makes us different. And I think that those differences do translate into value and benefit for our employees and really for all of our stakeholders. A lot of the things about what um, really felt right to me is that there's a certain authenticity here. The things that Vince promotes from the top down, you know, it's it's coming from all of his staff members, but it's you know, obviously his his primary message or one of them um, has always been about what we do for the community and how we give back. And Vince talked about this in several of our staff meetings to kind of remind us that behind the scenes, H2 Insight gives back to the community in a, a variety of different ways. And he'll talk about the different um, organizations that we donate to where we make a contribution either from time or money or some other investment of gift. Um, and, and it's never to pat himself on the back, it's to say, hey, because you're here and you're doing the work that you do, that's why we get to do this. So when we demonstrate to our folks that we are really just about caring about people and investing in people, that we're living out that mission, vision, and values and trying to reinforce servant leadership, uh, we do see improved productivity. Um, we see positive culture. We see a healthier environment and we see lower turnover. The reality is that our business is going to leave a legacy, whether intentional or by default. We certainly prefer it be intentional. So, you know, a worldly scorecard is still important to us. We're very focused on it. Uh, we've experienced tremendous growth and profitability over the last five years. That said, shifting that focus to an eternal scorecard really then transforms those results into means to a much greater end and a much greater end.